I saw a shrimp getting gang beaten, so I quickly broke up the fight. Turns out, these little shrimpies were all infected with invasive blood-sucking parasites. I decided it was time to help these shrimpy babies live a better life. I quickly and carefully began removing the festering parasites from Jill, and the first operation was a success. Next up was Brenda. She had a super chonky parasite devouring her gills. I gently began opening up her gill flaps so that I could take the parasites out of Brenda. This parasite was so big and juicy, it was hard to get out, but I got it. You can see the big pink female and the little white male attached to the top. Gross. In their natural habitat, these parasites are just fine. But since they're invasive to this ecosystem, they're harmful and causing these shrimp's populations to decline drastically. This is because the parasites have a castrating effect on the shrimps which prevents them from reproducing. But don't worry, Sarah. Once we get these parasites removed, your dreams of becoming a single mother might just be possible. Now that we've got these pesky parasites removed, we're going to find nice new homes for each one of our shrimpy babies. Afterwards, we're going to take the parasites and eat them to my good friend Franklin the Sea Chicken. I hope you shrimpies are feeling better now. Go on and start your families. Enjoy the rest of your week. All right, parasites. I'd like to introduce you to Franklin. Eee! <laughs> Thanks, Franklin. I hope you enjoy your lunch. All right, now I want to show you an animal that's super creepy, but super interesting. This is the green sea anemone. These slimy looking animals are closely related to jellyfish. They even catch food in a similar way. Their little tentacles are covered in nematocysts. These are like microscopic harpoons with paralyzing venom that they use to capture things like fish, crabs, and even other sea anemones. Once they grab their prey with their tentacles, they close up and the animal is unable to escape. They suck their prey down inside of their hole, which is their mouth and also the thing they use to get rid of their food. Once an animal's locked in, they stand no chance. Because sea anemones can self-replicate by splitting themselves down the middle and become another sea anemone, they can theoretically live forever. However, living forever is pretty unlikely because they're common food for things like nudibranch and other animals. These animals are super, super cool, and they're a lot of fun to touch. And did I mention that sea anemones can get really big? Up to one meter or 3.3 feet in diameter. That's pretty big for one of these tentacled animals, big enough to catch a turtle. If you do plan on touching one of these, I'd recommend doing it with clean hands and only touch their tentacles in the outside. Don't touch the little hole in the center. That's their, you know. All right, sea anemones, thanks for hanging out with us today. Let's go pop some sea bubbles, and then we're gonna go find some more cool things to do. These are super satisfying, listen. And another one. Oh yeah. All right, oh my gosh, what is this? I found a little fishy. Are you okay, little fishy guy? Give him a little poke. Hello? No, I, guys, I, I don't think Fishy's doing too good. Poor Fishy. All right, let's take Mr. Fish and find him a new home. Oh, yeah, we got some hungry little crabs here. Hey, guys, I found you a little snacky. Good eating. Oh, my gosh, these are one of my favorite things. It might look like a boring, dumb rock to you, but these little rivets are evidence of a prehistoric animal. Let's crack this open and see what's inside. Just what I thought, a 20 million year old scallop fossil. These things are like clams, but they were alive 20 million years ago. All right, let's go ahead and crack open another one. These are really fun to find and they make for great decorations. What's this? I see something under the water. I'm gonna reach in, try and poke it. Very carefully. What is this? What is this? Oh my gosh, it's a crab. Come here, come here, buddy. I got gotcha. you. Don't worry, I I'm not gonna hurt you. Uh huh. It's a little red rock crab. It's so cute but these things can pinch really, really hard. So we're just gonna set him free and watch him burrow back down into the sand. 
Bye, little buddy. Thanks for watching, everyone. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more satisfying ocean videos.